Emerald Downs has been pleased to recognize and promote Rainier Therapeutic Riding Center. Located in Yelm, Rainier Therapeutics program of having horses groomed, trained, and ridden by soldiers returning from battle has done life-saving work. Former thoroughbred racehorse Aspen, along with other equine members of the Rainier team, are the real stars of the show. Horse owner Debbie Fisher founded the program shortly after her husband, an active duty lieutenant colonel, was killed in a head-on car collision while at home in 2006. How this program came, came about was we went ahead and uh, had six horses at that time and uh, was looking for something to do with the horses too. And we actually went down to Texas and I listened to uh, a panel of soldiers tell how horses had literally kept them from committing suicide. And uh, boy, right in my heart, right away I knew that that's what we were supposed to do. And it's been pretty amazing to see how God has opened up the doors uh, at, for this program to grow into the very largest program of our type in the nation and uh, how many soldiers and veterans that we are helping here in the Northwest. Whether or not a soldier is familiar with horses or pets, Rainers start slowly and always with care and compassion. U.S. Army infantryman Mike Busseri was wounded in battle, suffering severe internal injuries. Uh, when I first came down, I was really skeptical and didn't really see how it was going to help, but I was willing to take a shot because anything's better than nothing. And uh, the, the first thing I noticed it really did for me was it helped my mood a lot. And that was a big change because there was really nothing helping with my mood. And I didn't want to do anything or go anywhere. And coming here was like the only thing that kept me happy through the week. Actually, I've worked with two different horses in the program. I worked with Merlin first, and now I have Cisco. And pretty much both of them were on the lazier side, but I, I like it. I try and come out here as much as I can. Like every free day I get, I come out here, whether it's to just help clean up or try and get a free chance to ride or come out for a class. And like I got my family involved in the family program, so I got them coming out and they actually get to see how uh, like it's affected me, but they get to see it firsthand and how it's affecting them as well. So it's, it's really good that I get to share that with them now. Serving in the Army in Iraq, Tim Stewart was blown some 50 yards by an IED, suffering fractures in the neck, back, hip, pelvis, and leg in addition to internal injuries. Here's Stewart along with his good friend, Aspen. I've been in the Army for 10 years now and multiple deployments, in multiple locations and nope don't want back back there you go buddy good regular physical therapy just wasn't cutting it it was you know just a little stretching here and there for 20 or 30 minutes it wasn't anything sustainable and with Rainier Therapeutic Riding we get to go out for you know, we groom them and we, we get to know the horse, you know, one, build a bond between the rider and the horse, but we also, we get to spend a lot of time with them. When I first started out doing the beginner's class, it was Monday. Every Monday, 9 a.m., not just a Monday, but early Monday morning, usually the roughest time of the week for most people. But I looked forward to going to work on Monday morning because I knew I, hey, I was gonna get to go ride. If you don't do it right, they're not gonna do it right. So you gotta mentally be on top of your game. Otherwise, they're, they're gonna know. Especially Aspen, he's kind of particular and he's, yeah, I'm talking about you, buddy. And he's, really intelligent. He's actually smarter than most people I know. We don't just have to be here for classes. We can come out on the weekends. We can come out really whenever and just help out around here. And I mean, it gets us off base, gets us away from a lot of the things that are the big stressors for us. The, the gunshots and, you know, all the ranges and everything. That and horses understand people so much better than people do. Army vet Edward Wireless served in Vietnam and has acute post-traumatic stress disorder. His life changed dramatically for the better since coming to Rainier's program. 
Uh, I live in the city of Roy, and they have two rodeos per year. And I always tried to attend them because I enjoyed them. I went there, and here Deborah, Deborah had a Fisher had a uh, booth there, and uh, I admit I was attracted to her, her demeanor, and I said I'm going to check her out. I came up close, found out she had a wedding ring, and I said, oh well, that's out of the question. I admit, when I first came in, I was definitely afraid of horses. So I, I learned that always let the horse know where you're at, that he reacts, he or she reacts through instinct. And training seldom overrides instinct. And so I just learned to always put my hand, to let the horse talk with the horse and, and things like that. And I said, you know what, as long as I do that, I have no reason to be afraid of the horse. The animal actually absorbs my anxieties. And I, I said, that's what it is. Award-winning Aspen continues to help soldiers recover and knows his job well. Uh, Aspen actually was one of the very founder horses at the very beginning of the program that I actually trained uh, for this program and has been working with us for three years. In the program, nonstop, he's actually helped probably more soldiers than any of the other horses in the program. He takes his job very seriously. Uh, he expects them to do it correctly, and he will play dumb if uh, they don't do it right until uh, they figure out what he expects. So he takes his job very seriously with working with his riders. He's a good boy. He's a really good boy. I'd like to have more thoroughbreds in the program. Rainer Therapeutic is now well known nationally and Fisher is proud that some 22 other riding centers are using their curriculum. Well, Rainier Therapeutic Riding is a, a nonprofit and I feel personally that these veterans and our active duty wounded soldiers have already paid the price dearly and um, there should never they should never have to charge you know be charged for this program and for the healing that they definitely need and so it's up to uh, uh, us as a community to raise those funds that are need necessary to run a horse program for them and um, so it takes a, it takes a lot of support to run a program like this and we've got some amazing volunteers we have 135 volunteers and seven instructors now uh, and we're continuing to grow. Stewart is fully aware Rainier's program has changed, even saved his life. It's not usually until I get about halfway home, I'm like, man, I feel, I feel really good. I'm loose, because I'm not, we're not just working the horses, we're working ourselves too, but we're having fun. So I, mean, I, I had my granddad tell me way back, when I was a little kid, you know, if you enjoy what you do for a living, you'll never work a day in your life. And it, it goes right along with, you know, working and training horses. It's, you know, it's enjoyable. So it doesn't seem like work. It really is work. It's hard work and it wears you out, but at the same time, you're enjoying it. So it's, it's not bad at all. Some days Debbie will just, you know, she'll be able to see it in my eyes. I'm just not feeling right. And she'll say, hey, hey, do you want to stay for dinner? And it's okay. Uh, then it's not, it's not until usually about halfway home, once again, I'm like, wait a second. She, why did she do that? Oh, okay, she must have seen something wrong. Wait a second, I feel really good now. And it, it, ta it takes a lot of stress off off and not just our bodies, but our minds as well. Wireless comes twice a week to clean stalls. Do I enjoy doing it? No, but here's the situation. It, it's a way for me to get, it's, it's a worthwhile effort and a way for me to give back to this program that's given so much to me. For more information on Rainier Therapeutic Riding Center, please visit rtriding.org.